Welcome back, cleaning enthusiasts. My name is Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. Based on the last video, I know you think I'm on a world cruise for nine months, and you would be correct. I prep for my world cruise by filming lots of homes, so I'll have plenty of footage to work with on the cruise. I'm super excited to share these videos with you as I travel around the world. This three-day project will be split into three separate videos. I began in the kitchen, which was quite spacious. I tackled the pantry first, emptying it to check for expired items. And per the homeowner's request, expired food was discarded, the oldest dating back to 2005. I used my trusty magnifying glasses to easily check for the dates. Check out the link in the description below for more information. So here's the backstory. I'm helping a family of seven declutter and organize their home, with three kids still living at home, including one with autism. The father, a proud Air Force veteran, battles PTSD and diabetes. The mother travels three weeks out of the month and has ongoing health battles and has a surgery a month to unfreeze her joints and also has lymphedemia. In the face of their many challenges, their story is a testament to the power of family bonds and love. This family deserves a fresh start. Freeing up counter space for more food coming out of the pantry. I also replaced a missing light bulb in the overhead light to brighten up the space.
time to organize the food back into the pantry. I'm sorting it into categories like pasta and Mexican food in one area, breakfast items in another, canned goods together, and grouping like items with like items. I put the soup stock there temporarily because it was a heavier item. I wanted to put it on a lower shelf. Am I stocking a grocery store or what? Just like them, I turn all the labels front facing so you can spot each product easily. Check out the amazing transformation in these before and after pictures. Can you believe the difference? What do you think? Okay, I'm tackling the spice cabinet now. Once again, the homeowner asked me to clear out any expired spices. When was the last time you checked your pantry for expired items? Drop a comment below and share your experience.
I adjusted the shelf height to accommodate the larger spice containers. Not once, but twice. Oh no, I've just discovered more food. She mentioned that most of the food might be expired since she had forgotten it was even in there. All the food that hadn't expired found its way back into the pantry. I used hot water, pine salt, oven cleaner, and finally Gooby Gone to get this spotless. So here is your after picture because I forgot to take a picture. Moving on to the drawers now, the plan was to empty them all onto the huge counter to identify duplicates and triplicates, and then reorganize them and put everything back in. The homeowner did an awesome job of paring things down. Thank you. 
I changed out the metal silverware tray to a bamboo silverware tray. I initially placed all the baggies in aluminum foil in these drawers, but then I found this drawer and decided it was a perfect spot for all of them. All right, back to tackling the kitchen cabinets. And look, more food. I stored the extra coffee below for quick and easy access for when it's time to brew a fresh cup. The cabinet right above the previous one will now be dedicated to coffee and tea on the first shelf. Next, the cup cabinets. I took all the cups out so the homeowner could choose which ones she wanted to keep. So this cupboard was hard to reach. I decided to store items that aren't used often in here. I moved this shelf up to accommodate the large thermoses. And then I moved this shelf up as well.
Found another cupboard full of thermoses. The family went through the medicines to decide what they should keep. Heading to the next spot, under the sink. I encountered a blob of dish soap under there that just kept foaming up. I sprayed oven cleaner when I first arrived, so it had a few hours to really soak in. I walked 10,724 steps, burned off 434 calories, and walked 4.87 miles. I'm so glad I could help this family. The journey's been incredible. Seeing the joy and relief on their faces makes everything worth the effort. This isn't just about a clean house. It's about a fresh start for a deserving family. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more inspiring transformations. Stay tuned as I spend day two in the bedroom and master closet.